Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through one of the exercises of my classroom teachings. The goal here is to add a chart to the sales department of site homepage. And we're going to do that using the Excel Web Access web part. We're going to have some data from the Bicycle Sales XLS file. We're going to create a new pivot table in that. And then we're going to add a graph that's connected to the new pivot table. And then we're going to save that spreadsheet to the library of the sales site, of course, and add the Excel Web Access web part to the homepage and connect it to the spreadsheet. So those are the steps. Let's get right to it. So here I am on the sales homepage. And of course, this is a standard team site now. So we're going to start by removing this get started thing. And in here, we want a graph instead. It's the sales department after all. So I'll go into my documents where I'll find the bicycle sales XLS file there. This is already a table. If it wasn't a table, I would format it as a table, but that's already been done. So in the table tools here, I can summarize it with a pivot table. And then I'm going to drag in, first of all, the uh, line total, the sales that we're doing for each. And here we see that is a bit hard to read, so I'll format this a bit better. $1.2 million. So, and then we're going to see that categorized by branch i'm going to put that on the rows there looks good and then i'm going to analyze that by putting a pivot chart here and we could do a pie nice big pie there all right you can um, remove this explanation there just have this maybe go into design and select something that looks a bit more detailed that's how I want that one. That looks good, I think, with the captions there. So this chart now is called chart one. As you see there, when I select the chart, I can see the name of it there. We need that later. So now I'm going to go back to my browser and uh, copy the URL to this um, site. And I'm going to go in and save this Excel spreadsheet. Go browse there, and paste the URL to the site. Control V there. Enter. Sign in. There we are. Now I see the SharePoint site, and of course, I'm going to save this bicycle sales inside my shared documents there. It's fine. So, saving that, and then I will go, let's see, editing the page in SharePoint, and now I'm going to insert the web part that is used for displaying business data, and in this case, it's going to be Excel spreadsheet. So I'm using the Excel Web Access web part. Be adding that, and then I open the tool pane, and then I'm going to say which workbook and which named item I'm going to show. So I click on that, go into my documents in the sales site, find the bicycle sales that I just saved, and type in the name of the named item that I want to show, the short one. Then I must remember to apply this. And then we'll save the page. And there you see, there is my graph. Now this is showing a bit extra. I can select the different things here. I can edit in Excel. If I don't want this, I can go in and modify the web part to just show the graph. Just focus on the most important things. I'm going to show you that too. But we have already accomplished all the goals that we had in this slide here. So we're good to go, but I'm going to give you a bit more extra here. Back to browser and here you see all the settings so I'll remove the toolbar here set that to none and I'm gonna remove these toolbar commands by just unchecking them this interactivity is only available when I'm not showing a part so that's why these things are grayed out now it's hard to see an edge but we will okay this and now we'll save the page and it should all be done there you see, now it's just um, less interactive, but you can still go into the, this um, spreadsheet in Excel online by clicking this link. Now just to illustrate my point, I'm gonna go select this uh, bikes section, and then I'm gonna format this, making it another color. So let's make it blue instead. And then I'm just gonna save the spreadsheet again so I can continue working in Excel as I normally would. I'll go back to my browser and refresh 
and I should see this blue color that I put on that part of the chart there. So that's a very powerful thing to do, to put that in the hands of Excel experts in your company and allow them to continue building reports in Excel and inserting them into a SharePoint site. That concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.